fellow skaters. We are in the heart of downtown Toronto and today we're looking at six signs of a power stop master. Could it be you? This is not a tutorial. This is for those advanced skaters out there who might be wondering, is my power stop amazing? Am I a legit stop master? Number six, parallel feet. Parallel feet distinguishes a power stop from a power slide. Those who stop with parallel blades have all eight points of contact working for them, which means their stops will be shorter, faster, and more accurate than any other form of stop. The parallel position of the power stop is also perfect for instant changes of direction. Number five, matching blade angles. If the inversion of your back skate is close to, but not identical to the E version of your front foot, you've actually nuanced the power stop. A more upright slant on the back skate will give you more friction and control. This is about stopping, not sliding. Every millimeter counts on the urban landscape. Number four is all about backy. A consistent power stopper will keep the back foot underneath the center of their pelvis to prevent themselves from sliding out and to allow for adjustments when the surface is inconsistent. If backy gets ahead of you, you're going to slide out. Well, that's not nice. And if it doesn't get under you enough, the friction becomes unmanageable. Clunky at best. it's instantaneous. If you can drop straight into a power stop at an instant without dragging or carving into it, you've probably nailed the power stop for life. I love to drag my rear skate before entering a power stop, but being able to hit it without warning or slowing has saved me many times. A clean entry into a power stop is a sure sign somebody's a master, a master blader. That might not get you. Number two, all terrain. Can you crack your power stop out on all the surfaces you see in the city? Yeah, I didn't think so. But that's not a bad thing. It just means you have some super challenging skills discovery ahead of you. Everybody needs a game. Everybody got a dream. Number one, accuracy. Dependable accuracy is of course the ultimate sign that you're murdering the power stop. Having confidence in your own accuracy will free up your mind to continue to refine and redefine the power stop. Start being super specific about exactly where you want to stop, and you'll soon be power stopping on a dime, or the edge of a dime. You're gonna need to skate with a magnifying glass. If you're able to tick off every single one of these attributes, congratulations. I know what you went through to get here. The baseball slides weren't nice, but it feels nice now though, doesn't it? Yes, power stops feel very nice.